Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I gave you a free file for cutting out a little car. Now it's time to assemble it. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So the first thing is to find your parts and sort your parts. We've got we've got four stacks of wheels, three each, two two side panels, two panels that connect to those, and we've got the chassis. We've got two small wheel connectors that go in the back. We've got two larger wheel connectors that go in the front. The front of the chassis has a hole in it, so it's easy to keep track of. We've got a hood, a roof with a sunroof, and we've got the trunk area. When you've got your parts all sorted out, we can start assembling. The first step is to find your chassis and find the larger wheel connectors and put those on the front just like that. I'm gonna put the glue on the top and the bottom. And I'm going to do both sides at once to speed it up. And then I always recommend leave the glue this way so it is ready to be used next. These slide this way and this way. And then you can set that down and let it start drying. We repeat the process in the back. Once again, it's glue, glue. And I'm going to put glue underneath, cap the glue, and these simply slide on the same way. Now we can attach our side panels. These have a smaller end that goes in the back and a larger end that goes to the front. I'm going to put the glue inside here, and it attaches like that. And then I want to remind you, make sure it is to the front. Then we simply add the glue. Once again, making sure we get it inside, not outside, because it looks cooler. And make sure the larger piece is going towards the front. That's where we had that hole. Now we can attach our hood. Once again, there's the hole for the front. And it sets right there. I'm going to put glue up here. I'm going to put glue right here, and I'm also put glue right here and right here. Once again, I always stand the glue up so it's ready for the next procedure. And let's drop that piece in place. The tacky glue does dry pretty quickly, so make sure you've got everything lined up straight, especially your axles for later when you put in your straws. Let's add the trunk area the same way. Once again, glue, 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 and glue. And then the trunk area goes with the tabs facing out. Just like that. And now we can put on our sunroof. Once again, we just put glue on this top area, cap your glue, and drop the sunroof in place. We can lay it on its side, and now it's time to find the clean side, make sure you don't have labels on yours, and glue it in place as well. Once again, it's glue and glue. and a little glue, and a little glue. And you have just got the side of your vehicle attached. Flip it over and repeat. There, my friends, is your body. I'm gonna let that dry for a minute. Let's put together some wheels. The wheels go in stacks of three. Simply put some glue on wheel one, glue on wheel two, and then stack them. And make sure you've got them lined up so they're gonna be nice wheels when you're done. And then repeat for the rest of them. Now that my wheels are all glued, I'm gonna cut my axle. I want it the same size as my car. This is a six millimeter straw. 
Uh, you'll want to make sure you have a six millimeter straw because that's how big the project is set up for. You can also, now that you've got your straw, push your straw through so that your wheels are for sure lined up as they're drying. So I'm gonna get those all lined up so they're getting nice and straight. Then as I let those sit for a minute, let's glue the doors on our vehicle. The back door goes towards the back. It's got the little bend in it. The other door goes in the front. Once again, a tiny bit of glue. And let's attach those in there. Rear door and front door. Rinse and repeat. Now let's flip the design over and glue in the front hood area piece. It has a tab that just drops in, just like that. And then on the front of that, we'll add the headlights. Let's get some glue, put it right in the middle. And drop the little headlight area in place. These are fragile, but they're pretty darn sweet. Let's return to the back. Let's get these tabs covered with glue as we put in the final component on the back. Once again, cap the glue, stand it up so it's ready for anything else, and boom, you have just built the sweet little cardboard Hummer. Now we'll get the hot glue gun, we'll add some axles and wheels. All right, friends, make sure you're always safe with your hot glue. I'm gonna push the axle through and then I'm always gonna work from the middle here. When I push my wheels in, I push them all the way in. I put a tiny bit of glue out here on the end of the straw and then I pull the wheel out into it. This way I never get glue on my fingers because that can hurt. Now I let this axle dry or cool while I move to the front axle. Once again, slide the axle through push on one wheel slide it all the way into the center because i don't want any glue in there because that's what allows it to roll put a tiny bit of glue out here on the edge and carefully pull the wheel out into it so that way it gets a little glue on it and it sticks switch back to the front because that one's cool now slide the wheel all the way in Put a little bit of glue out there on the end. Hold my finger in the middle and pull it out in so it sticks and stays. One last time, same process in the back. Now that that one is cooled, a tiny bit of glue on the outside edge. Still got the finger in the safe spot, pulling it out into the glue and letting it cool so we can actually play with our sweet little car. Alrighty friends, so there you have it, a fantastic cardboard car designed in Tinkercad and cut on your laser cutter. We use them on the Glowforge, we use them on the OMT laser, and as you've seen in my other videos, I have cut them at home on my Orator LaserMaster Pro 2. Friends, I hope you can see how cool it is to be able to use tabs and make your own awesome projects using Tinkercad and your laser cutters. Friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet. What are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day